What's up? Happy Canada Day, hey? Woohoo! Happy days! Yeah, I can betray my Guinness once in a while. No big deal. He's not gonna complain. I'm going for a younger one. <laughs> okay, my darlings. Um, got my record with this uh, heavy stuff. Basically, before I even finish uh, grabbing on this one on the very last bloody flights, I I built I built this one because I figured out where's my flaws on the other ones. So uh, my V3 Speedster supposed to be supposed to be better than my v2 and i will i will walk i will walk through what's on my mind about the floor so the first thing uh this thing is heavy it's a 250 size this one is very light well not very it's it's considerably lightweight it's only it's only 200 size and when i build it I, I i could actually build it even smaller because i started building it before i had the motors because it was built for the five inch props max but then i can use only four inch props on this one and i will walk you through so the flow of this one was because it's a it's a very it's a very heavy that's something like 800 800 grams like there's a heavy esc's the bigger motors need uh bigger esc's I resolded the caps and then there's a GPS log on board, uh, the, the heavy stuff. And I was trying to the uh, high voltage batteries, four cell high voltage battery, it, it was all grand. But then when I went for six cell, there's a 1.55 six cell batteries that they use for the 450 size helis. I believe that's the best weight capacity and C rate and ratio in the battery. When I stuck on this battery, uh, by the by the yams that, that this one draw like it be, it it became it became bloody heavy. I lifted up in the air one pass, and I could feel and and I could feel that on a second pass it was going a, 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 a little bit slower. So this one is based basically around the battery. Um, I chose my motors. I chose my motors. The 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 the, the most the battery can give uh, on the paper. It can give out a hundred amps. Basically, I needed the motor on six cell uh, to go for uh, twenty five amps uh, roughly. Uh, so tested the motors. These are the KDE Direct twenty two zero six XF. I think they discontinued by now. There's a, a two thousand and fifty kV. I went for these motors because they were rated 6 cell capable and there's a prop test data on the 5 by uh, 3 props on 6 cells and that's probably the max where you can bloody go because um, I tested the motors, uh, I, burned, I burned the motor, these are the 4 inch props 3 bladed uh, 4.5 pitch, there's the first little smoke came out with these props and then when I put the HQ 5.4 props uh, one motor smoke completely uh, pulling something like 30 amps or something so uh, These are the four inch props uh, bull nose props it, it pull out roughly close to 30 amps and uh, The static truss is roughly 1.2 kilos uh, When it comes to last uh, I'll run these of course in the year the, the, there's be 20-30% uh, less amps uh when i finish with these ones i will stick on these ones in the air we'll see we'll see how is it gonna go so the concept of this uh still the same i believe that's uh i believe that's a win situation as the copter tilts roughly 80 degrees that's my that's my gonna be my max throttle um uh, so era like these are vacuum vacuum four molded we can see some little little shite on top that i i i i I was basically building in the rush and, and, and I'm not going to start refining. I, I should have done in the two mold. These are the 12, uh, 12 millimeter tubes. Yes, these are little B 30 amps. Uh, they are inside flat. As you can see, the, air, the, the signature is pretty, pretty low. Uh, so hopefully that will do. I will stick on this one on zip ties. Uh, I just left it off uh, just to show you. So instead of having a G heavy GPS log, uh, I went for uh, RC OSD, which is capable. Uh, you can plug in directly six cell. Only I have to power my the rest of a gear from the from the BEC because uh, it's just. Well, I didn't test it, but I presume it just passes through the six cell. 
and I know the fry the camera. The, the this is the popular HS uh, 1177. I think that's that's the numbers. Uh, the camera I have a Dell RCO uh, VTX 5.8. Uh, that's one of the first ones and they overheating on 5.5 volts because they rated on 5 volts when I realized that I uh, my diatone a uh, tiny 5 volt u bag it gives out apparently 5.3 volts so this little fecker was overheating again uh, so I added on a radiator and and put in some vent holes for it because it will need a lot of heating in the air uh, Afro Mini in there Everything is soldered, but I left the ESC ESC pin ESC pins in there unsoldered in case of I have to tweak the ESCs on the BL Heli. Uh, TBS Crossfire Rex, that's my coming out for my FTDI. Barry, as I said, 6L 1.55, 65 130C. Um, GPS. Uh, supposedly it was has to be in here a bit lower and the camera I, I got the space for the camera here at the front but then when I put the OSD and then realize if I'll put the camera here at the front it will be sticking out past this line so I wanted to go as streamlined as possible so I have to move the camera back the four lift a bit forward and uh, and my GPS uh, became basically on top because uh, it has a it has a compass in there and as we all know even bloody peas in a soup affects the compass uh, never mind the bloody power wires everything affected so i did a ground plate on it uh grounded and not sure did it did it help that much or that's that's the way the osd is but i i went in outside like in literally bit bit half a minute straight on eight satellites so don't know Maybe it's just a very good OSD, or maybe the ground plane helped. Uh, don't know. It's, it's, it's just a guessing. Just a guessing. So, this one, Boo Boo, is ready to go. Ready for testing. Um, hey, before before I go, before I go on the wait, um, as always, bloody forget and say something. In, and, and if I forget, check the FPV Labs uh, Link below to my build thread. There's all the pictures, detail, what goes on through my mind building and and the whole lot. I had this one motors inverted as well, right? I thought I thought that that was because the motors inverted, props are too close, and I was having my yaw issues, which apparently was the was the tuning. Shame on me. I still cannot tune my quads properly, precisely. I just usually whatever mess around with the P if it's good enough. Off we go. Off we go. So I put the I put the motors right way up, and basically the center of gravity becomes way uh, the center of gravity becomes uh, way below the prop level. So when the quad tilts, it have to it has to it has to lift the heavy bag. So on this one, I was aiming for the center gravity to be as close to the prop level as possible, and it looks like it's nearly spot on tiny bit tiny bit tiny bit so you will have to lift on a tiny bit because it, it, it's much easier it's much easier to tilt on the axis where the center gravity is rather than trying to lift the whole the whole weight and, and the whole back for the aerial photography yeah that, that's fine they can hang around like a like a ball in the water so hopefully uh, these aerodynamic shapes for the for the tubes and ESC that will help slightly for the for the lift to go in there. So well, more like it. Another thing about the structure uh, on that one crashes crashes. The battery hold the part started coming out and cracking and, and it was gluing. So with this one I went. I went straight through the sandwich frame and right through it so this one shouldn't let's say shouldn't shouldn't go right so important weight and this one of course ready to fly weight 600 hey what are you doing hold on mm-hmm 637 grams 
compared to this one 800 and something grams so nearly 200 grams saved it's a bloody very lot even though the motors a little bit smaller than these ones speaking of the motors these are the rcx on my v2 rcx 2208 bearings well one is good bearings are close to be gone and they were bashed and trashed and 10 bucks for a motor give me speed record sure what else do you want <laughs> Now with these motors, the KDA, KDE, KDE Direct, I burned one because because there was no there was no bloody five inch props on six L on these ones, whatever that says. On the other hand, I had another issue with the motor. Basically, I I ordered a set of four motors and then I and then I had to order another two motors because I won't burn, and one of the motor has the stator loose. Basically, all the windings with the stator was loose. I I took the motor apart. And it slid out very easily. It it looks like there was very very little sign of a uh, epoxy that is used to glue the stator with the windings to the motor. I fix it. I fix it in there, but their claim quality it's a bit. I got I got bloody one one out of six motors. I got a bit dodgy. So no no. I never heard that happen before. So I I, pre I presume just I just got bloody lucky or unlucky. Alright so hornies, I'll go enjoy my beer and she's ready for testing. We'll go outside whatever the rain stops and we give it a little spin and then there's gonna be time for tuning. Okay, see you next time.